Matt in Clemson, South Carolina. See more better with freeprescriptionlenses.com. And today I'm going to show you how I cut the transitions extra active with the silver flash mirror for your Oakley 8046, which is the airdrop in the 53 eye size color 01 satin black. Let me take everything out of the original packaging as Oakley sends it to me. By the way, let me start off by saying that yes, I am an authorized Oakley dealer. But I've been told, told as a small independent optician, I'm not legally allowed to post pictures of the frames with prices on my website. So do what Matt did. Go to the website, click the contact me button. There's an email, there's a phone number, preferably by email. Let me know what model number, size, and color you want. I will check on the price and availability and get back with you. This is the hard shell case that it comes with. This is the, of course, this is a cleaning cloth slash carrying bag. If you don't want to carry around the hard case, you've got this bag. You can carry them in and then clean the lenses as you will. But the star of the show, the main attraction, comes with a little plastic sleeve on the left temple to protect the temples from rubbing together during shipping. I'm going to put that on there when I ship to you. And again, this is the airdrop. And I've been told that you cannot see this, but I'm going to read it out to you anyway. The Oakley 8046 in color 01, size 53, the satin black. Now, Matt's having a good night. He's getting his Oakleys made. He's in Clemson, South Carolina. His Clemson Tigers are playing for the national championship tonight. This is like winning the Super Bowl, getting a new pair of Oakleys with the transitions extra active in the silver mirror and a national championship. And of course, uh, they're playing the LSU Tigers and I'm gonna go out on a limb and make a bold prediction that the Tigers will win tonight. I'm not saying whether they're the LSU Tigers or the Clemson Tigers, but I predict the Tigers will be victorious. So I'm gonna pop out the original demo lenses and put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker. Give you those little demo lenses. Program the shape into your secret agent or specially designed play from the huddle 2340. So when Trevor Lawrence gets to the line tonight, he's going to holler out 2340 as an audible. Hit the start button. A little stylus is going to pop up. Go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left. Here at FreePrescriptionLenses.com, where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any genuine, authentic Oakley frame that I offer, and you'll get one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number. So if you have vision insurance, you will get reimbursed your out of network reimbursement when you submit my receipt. Or if you have health savings account flex dollars, you will get reimbursed 100% when you submit my itemized receipt. That is the shape of the lens I'll be cutting. We're going to move on to the next screen. Let me clarify again, I am out of network for all insurances. So you will be receiving your out of network reimbursement. Not in network, out. Not in with me, without me. With me, without me. With me, without me. Okay, let me shut up so I can go and watch some football. Um, so, right eye reads. Now this one's marked L. Right eye <laughs> reads. Plus a quarter, minus two at 115. So I'm going to put the axis wheel on 115. Let me make sure everything's back on zero. I don't induce any prism. Put the power drum on plus a quarter. Put it in, find the optical center of the lens. I'm going to turn that over because that is the inner portion of the lens. Where was that? Plus a quarter. Check the astigmatism correction. We're at minus 150. Yeah, that's exactly where we'd be. Minus 175. Okay, so that is the right lens. I'm going to put three dots on your lenses. Uno, dos, 106. And then this is the right lens. Let's do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right. Turn the axis wheel to 86. And hang on one second. I can't even read my bad handwriting. Hang on one second. Okay, I'm back. That is 86. I wrote this so quick so I get this video made and go home and watch some football. We're going to turn the axis wheel to 86. Isn't that amazing, the power of editing? Power drum back on plus a quarter. 
find the spherical component first to the optical center got this one upside down that shouldn't follow the L's back to plus a quarter I know this is boring but I just want to make sure everything is perfect I cut every pair of lenses that get shipped worldwide I'm gonna make sure they are perfect this one is the left lens let me put some dots on there and if you guys missed any of that let me recap <laughs> That joke's for me. I don't care if you don't laugh at that. That joke is for me. I think that's funny. I don't care who you are. So, let's go ahead and get the pupillary distance, optical center height. Your right eye is 34.5. The computer starts at 32.5. So, I'm going to tap the button until we get to 34.5. I want to raise the optical center up 2 millimeters to 18. We're going to go 2 above center at 18. And the reason why I put those black dots on there, it tells me that the lens is oriented and adjusts perfectly. Your, the blue cross is the geometric center of the frame. Your eye is just above that and inset. So, but I need a block, or as I like to call them, Jenny from the block. I need to, to attach this to your lens while it is cutting, so I need two double-sided adhesive stickers, of which I've got two here, as we say here in the dirty south. I'm in North Carolina. Matt is in Clemson, South Carolina. We are neighbors. Howdy, neighbor. I'm going to pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. Get everything oriented in there just perfectly. Kids, kids, you see how I do that? You see how I do that? Make sure the lens is large enough. And hit that button. The arm's going to come down and place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the left lens. Pull the paper away to make the black side sticky. Line up the magnet. What's the PD? Same PD for the left eye. Same optical center height. Same block you can put on. The same black sticky thing. Same pre-flight. Make sure the wings, the flaps, the ailerons are looking good. Hit that button. The block's going to come down and be pressed onto the left lens. Now this is the edger. This is what's going to do all the work while I run my mouth. That's fair. It costs $40,000. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter. Then you can cut your own lenses at home and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. But the actual cutting wheel is this diamond crusted wheel that's going to grind away your lens material from this size down to this size. This wheel in the center is what's going to put the V-shaped bevel onto the lens so it stays inside the bevel of the frame. Let's go ahead and wake up the computer. This is job ID number 2340. 2340. So years from now, should you ever need new lenses for this frame, I can just pull them up and cut them and mail them right to your home and you'll see how to install them. Let's see, these are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic, high-index plastic or Trivex. I would select that. I'm not going to polish the edge of the lens. I am not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of the lens. But I am going to put one on the rear concave surface of the lens. So let's go ahead and press that on there firmly. Place the magnet into the chuck. Or by now, you know I like to call it the Charles. Just because I don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Hit the green start button. The door closes. The clamp shuts. The lens... <laughs> The chuck's going to make a noise before closing. And then the two white stylus is going to trace the shape of the right lens. Starting off making sure that the lens is large enough to fit into the frame. And then second go around it's measuring the thickness of the lens to know where to place the bevel. So you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which you will have none. With your prescription in this frame with this specialized lens material that I've chosen. But I do cut very strong lenses all day long for how much? For free. For gratis. And so, but that does become more critical with the higher powers. So the light you see flickering in the background is water to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry, where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet, meaning the water sprays onto the lens for the duration of the cutting cycle. Now water will spray onto your lens, Matt, but only for the final 20 seconds to wash away the optical debris that you see beginning to form on the edge of your lenses. 
As I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate, which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They are virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material. The same material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel and from flying debris. It also has 100% UVA and B protection. It also has 50 to 70% blue light protection built into the lens and has its own proprietary silver anti-glare built onto the back surface of the lens so you compromise nothing as well as a premium scratch coating. So you get breakage protection, you get UV protection, you get sun protection, you get blue light protection, you get anti-glare protection. You get a car, you get a car, you get protection, you get protection, you get protection. <laughs> I'm just protection silly tonight. So Matt wants me to give a shout out to his loving wife Ange and to his big baby German Shepherd Remy and a shout out to uh, all his Clemson fans, family, teammates, neighbors who are going to be hoarse after screaming at the TV all night long cheering. He's getting the Clemson orange cleaning cloth. The next one I will send will have blue trim with the Auburn colors. I'm teasing. I'm teasing. I can't do that. All you Auburn fans out there, there's no way I can do that. I'm just having fun with Matt. I understand rivalries. I live on Tobacco Road. We have Duke, Carolina, and the NC State Wolfpack. I understand rivalries all too well. In fact, uh, my team gave uh, Matt's team a run for their money this year. If they didn't block a two-point conversion, my team would have beat the Tigers and they would not be playing for the national championship. So, well played, sir. So I opened that door with my mind. Did y'all catch that? I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can't. I just got to stare at it for a couple hours and then I can melt it. Scientists have studied that phenomenon and they cannot figure out why I can melt ice with my mind faster in the summer than I can in the winter. There's been no bill laureates in physics studying it and they cannot figure out why. If you think you know the answer to that question, write it down on a hundred dollar bill and mail it to me and I will read it, the, your answer on the air. You don't even have to include your name. I, I'll recognize your handwriting and give you credit. So it's not going in first time around. I do not want to force it in there. I'm going to take it down a tenth of a millimeter all the way around the circumference. The right lens takes a little bit longer once because we keep cutting down cutting down once we get the right lens done we're going to flip it over and cut the left now it's going straight to the bevel wheel not to the cutting wheel again you want someone OCD like me cutting your lenses where they're perfect I took the extra time to make sure they were oriented in there just right it's a corny saying but the only difference between ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra at the beginning and since you don't live next door, well, okay, literally, you do live next door in South Carolina. Figuratively speaking, the, um, I want to make sure it is perfect. As I mentioned before, I cut every pair of lenses that get shipped worldwide, and you want a perfectionist like me cutting your lenses. Even if we don't root for the same football team, but if we rooted for the same team, it wouldn't be any fun. I married a dookie. You don't choose who you fall in love with. My wife and I get a, get along all but two days out of the year. She sits at her end of the couch. I sit at my end of the couch. We don't speak to each other during the games. But one thing I did start a few years back is the winner has to give the other person a massage. That way everyone's a winner. I stand all day, so I want a foot massage. My wife is in IT. She sits... Uh, at a computer all day so she wants a back massage if my Carolina Tar Heels win I give her a back massage if her Duke Blue Devils win I get a foot massage needless to say I've gotten a lot of foot massages in the last few years and this year we're not even gonna make the NIT oh my god oh so this is like okay I gotta say this hang on let me just get this tucked in this is the double whammy Clemson Clemson Tigers the men's basketball team has never one in Chapel Hill until this year old daggum Roy 
forgot to tell his team to foul in the last few seconds of the game and the Clemson Tigers have gotten that monkey off their back. They are 1-59. and 59. They started playing in 1926 and have never won in Chapel Hill, even with Tree Rollins, even with some of the great teams they've had. Um, it's just been one of those things. But the oldest tradition is that all things must change, and eventually Clemson won. So flip that over to Elb, press the magnet on there firmly, place it into the chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, or tonight I'm calling it the Matt. I'm calling it the Clemson Tigers. It's flipped over. It's going to be traced by the two white styluses. Make sure the lens is large enough to fit into the left side. And it's going around tracing the left side of the frame. And then measuring the thickness to know where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing of which Matt you got nothing. You see that Ange? You see that Remy? You got nothing. No edge thickness whatsoever. You're getting a pair of Oakleys with the silver mirrored lenses. You just won in basketball against the Carolina Tar Heels, and you're going to win the national championship tonight. Matt, I hate to disappoint you, but it's going to be downhill the rest of the year. And it's already January 13th. It's going to be a long 2020 for you. Although you will have bragging rights for a while, so you got that going for you. So we're going to come back here to the lensometer, spin the axis wheel to 115. I am going to do what's known as final inspection. I'm going to place it in my lensometer above that black dot. By the way, can I mention the VIP service? I am a licensed optician. This is the only place in the world a licensed optician will answer the phone, answer your emails, order the lenses, cut the lenses, specify the base curve so you have the best fit cosmetically for your frame, cut the lenses, do the final inspection, email you the tracking number, pictures of what you're getting. There are cheaper places on the internet and you get what you pay for. Now you do get free lenses, but he upgraded to the Transitions Extra Active. Of course, let me read the power. Plus a quarter, one tick mark going away from zero into the black, into the pluses. Your lens is plus a quarter. You have the smallest amount of magnification. You can have UR far side. You need one step of nearsighted correction to see far away. That's why there's a plus sign. Now, once everything is the correct size, you have eight steps. You're on the first rung of the ladder here. You need another eight steps, eight rungs of the ladder. Two full diopters of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. So once the, the image is the correct size, we have to take away those fuzzy edges. Um, and we're going to you add those two numbers together. You start off with plus a quarter. You subtract two. You end up at minus 175 in the red. Um, one tick mark away from minus two. Now, you have the same amount of magnification in the left, but you have two and a half diopters of astigmatism. And if you're borderline crazy stigs, as I call it, that's a medical term. I don't know what that means. You have crazy stigmatism. <laughs> By the way, thank you for your purchase. Now I'm going to make fun of your prescription. No, so, these first two numbers are real value. You're going to be in such a good mood tonight, you won't care. These first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from 0 to 180. So that is the fine two knob. The first number magnifies. The second number is the fine two knob. For your right eye, we're going to turn that from 0 to 90 to 180. We're going to turn that knob to the 115 meridian. For your left eye, 86. So yeah, we're at minus 175. Let's come down here, take out the left lens, dry everything off. A little bit of schwarf right there. Run that around my thumbnail. I was about to drop that on the floor, but I had a really good weekend with my wife. My wife hates it when I drop it on the floor. But I mean, honestly, it's so much easier to drop it on the floor. Who has time to walk all the way over here in the course of a day and the course of a video? But I had a great weekend with my wife. She truly is the story behind my success. I would be pointing in every direction. She focuses me in one direction. Finish this project, move on with the other. I'm starting to design my own eyewear, a line of Christian eyewear. And she came out with the thing, I'm going to have a cross on the side and a cross on the temple tip. 
and my wife who's a data analyst swears she's not creative she said well if you can put a cross on the side of a frame can you put a pink ribbon because our family has been devastated she has seven aunts that have all had breast cancer and I said I guess we can so I'm going to donate that to her that website you're going to love this ladies on the website cancer ribbon eyewear says this website is dedicated to my mother who gave me life and to my wife who has filled it with meaning so and I mean every word of that tuck it in at the outside corner come on you don't want to go in you don't want to go in did I get that in there right nope okay let's take it down a tenth oh that's right you have more you got crazy sticks look at that I'm gonna take it down another tenth of a millimeter 0.10 for the right we're gonna do 0.20 for the left hit the retouch button that means I got to talk about my loving wife more so yeah so because I had a great weekend with her I'm not dropping it on the floor I walked over there she truly is she has she has made me into the person I am today I'll be it kicking and screaming I wasn't happy about doing it <laughs> but uh, but she is smart she has taught me my work ethic there's no way I could pull 12 14 16 hour days without her she has done it she has led by example she graduated high school at 17 went to work for Blue Cross she was management in their IT department managing 50 people she literally graduated high school on a Friday started working there on a Monday making coffee did not go to college just entry-level position as a secretary a gopher making coffee for people and now she manages 50 people in their IT department and uh, she, I gave her a bracelet that has uh, the solar system all the way around it and precious stones where it looks like the planets and I told her she's she's not just my world she is my whole solar system and that is true my planet revolves around her my life does she makes me pick up around the house <laughs> she makes me do stuff but you know hey hey it makes me a better person right that's what I tell myself so we're gonna tuck it in at the outside corner press down the nose now it snaps in there easily take the block off pull the sticker away dry that off add to my sense of accomplishment sticker yes I could look at my bank account but I like knowing that my first 11 months going into business for myself the last 15 months since I moved here first 11 months of being self-employed last 15 months of being self-employed here wait till I start making all the online frames for the frames that I'm making we're gonna turn that fine tune knob to 86 now the goal is to get this so large I have to be buried in a double wide coffin I want this the same size as me I'm gonna meet it halfway my New Year's resolutions is to lose some weight I'm at 194 as of this shooting I'm gonna get down to 180 a shredded 180 we're at plus a quarter let's check your stigmatism correction your crazy stigs we end up at minus two and a quarter one tick mark past two going from zero one two headed towards three we're at two and a quarter so that is cut perfectly your PD is 34.5 for both your right and left for a total of 69 we're gonna turn the card around place the PD stick against my thumb on your right lens when we hold it up to the left lens we're getting 69 millimeters I want to check the optical center height of 18 I raised your the optical center up two millimeters because you're not looking through the center of the lens and not to the bottom of the lens but the middle of the black plastic we're getting 18 millimeters that is cut perfectly 18 millimeters that wraps up final well that does not wrap up final inspection I'm gonna do what's known as a three-point stance now when you get these in the mail mat there's a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight however there's an 80% chance that one side is gonna sit higher than the other that's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other and because of that statistic 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments if you ask them but I'm gonna get these in standard alignment first also known as a three-point stance the so three points are one two and the bottom of the frame being three I set them on the counter and press down there is no wobble 
flip them over, press down. There is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do. Now, this is the portion in every video that I want to also point out now that this purchase is tax-free. That's because I am in North Carolina. A lot of people on the internet are now having to charge tax on prescription eyeglasses. I'm in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device. There is no tax on medical devices, so I will always be tax-free. This frame, the Oakley 8046 sells airdrop, sells for $173. It does come with one free pair of free pres clear prescription lenses. Matt wanted the transitions extra active and gray. It also comes in brown for the mirror purposes, gray or brown. He got the gray. That adds $129.99. He got the silver flash mirror that can only be applied to the extra active lenses. That adds $69.99. That mirror comes in silver, gold, green, blue, red, and pink. But he got the silver. Too bad it doesn't come in an orange yet. That'll be awesome when it does. But, so, I send out a selfie request in every package. Matt, I would love to have your picture with Ange. Or with Remy or the three of you. I also send out cleaning instructions not only how to care for your frame and lenses but for the cleaning cloth that I provide, your Oakley cleaning cloth, and your case so they too will last you for years. Now this is the first time they have been, these are still clear. I'm going to go ahead and activate them which means I'm exposed them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. As I put these in here as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for transition lenses to darken. A little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute to a minute 15. Now this is important, Matt, and everyone else paying attention. All transition lenses will get dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks they're exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time that transition 7 and 8 and Zeiss photochromic lenses won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day. And that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now these transitions extra active and the Zeiss Photofusion Extra Gray will turn dark in a car. Um, 30 to 50 percent dark. Now if you have a convertible or a motorcycle they will darken. They also you can see the gray through there. Now when you look out you see gray. When people look at you they see the silver mirror at certain lighting at certain angles. Now when they're activated, you can actually see the green anti-glare coating on the back surface. Silver on the front. And when they're clear, it actually looks silver. When they're activated, you can see that green. Now I cannot add any of the Crizal coatings to this lens. The mirrored lenses come with their own proprietary anti-glare that they put on before you know, along with the mirror coating. The mirror goes on first. They cannot add an anti-glare to the front surface because the mirror is slick as mirror and the anti-glare coating will, un will not adhere to that surface. And of course, as I keep talking, these will get lighter and lighter. I also wanted to mention that transition lenses um, get darker, changes in, and Zeiss Photochromic get darker in 85 and below and then they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable, nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. Matt, I hate to break it to you, but I see some ugly guy wearing a GoPro in your lenses. I hope you don't see that. But of course, as I keep talking, they're going to get lighter and lighter. Now, if you have the, um, you can follow me on, all right, shut up, I've got the game on my mind. If, um like this video subscribe to my youtube channel you can so you can see more videos and click the bell icon so you'll get uh, you'll get notified every time i come up with a video of more frames different lens options you'll get to see all of those um, you can follow me on facebook and instagram as free prescription lenses on twitter as free rx lenses if you have any questions and again let me repeat i am an authorized oakley dealer but i've been told by the Oakley masters that be that I'm not allowed to put pictures of Oakley frames with prices on the website. So con go to the contact me page of the website. There's a phone number. I prefer you reach out by email, but if you want to call, do that. I can just respond back to emails quicker during the day. The, um, 
sorry, I've got the football game. I'm hungry too. But um, so that's it. And again, so my shtick is my business model. You buy any frame at the MSRP and I will give you one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses. All the upgrades are available. I can do polarized. I can do transitions. I can do transitions extra active. I can do transitions extra active with one of the six mirror coatings. I can do transitions extra active with any of the Crizal coatings. I can do the Zeiss lenses. I can do you know the Zeiss mirror coatings. So that's it. If you want the Oakley emblem on your lenses, I can do that too. Now you can't get extra active with the mirror coatings. Oakley does not offer that. But if you want clear lenses or any of the Oakley mirrored polarized iridium and non-iridium um, lenses, I can do that too. And you can see I was turning back to virtually clear as I keep talking. But that's it. So Matt in Clemson, South Carolina. Hats off to your boys on the hardwood courts uh, and the round ball who beat my Tar Heels Saturday night. Good luck in the game tonight. Thank you for the purchase of the Oakley Airdrops, uh, model number 8046, color 01, the, the matte black with the transitions extra active and the silver flash mirror. Now indoors, it looks like you have a silver anti-glare coating. I have, no, this is not Auburn blue orange. I just, my hometown Durham Bulls are blue orange and I like any frame that is blue orange. I have the Zeiss blue protect on here. You can see that the the flash mirror just looks like an anti-glare coating on steroids. Let me put mine back on so I can see what I'm doing. But now, hopefully, everyone else has got a chance to see how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. Thank you.